it's Nancy and this is the video that I've been promising you guys comparing the laminator and this is the Scotch TL901 versus the mini mink machine and this is the one I got off of HSN um, the one that is branded by Anna Griffin so what I have is the carrier sheets which are well loved and inside are the identical sheets of um, what do you call it toner paper by Anna Griffin with Anna Griffin's um, foiling and I've used deco foil and her foil and they are pretty much identical and I have the machine on and set to the setting of three and for the laminator I have it on it's been on for a while and it is set on the five milliliter setting um, I find that that gets hotter so let's run them both through and see what the results are gonna be there goes the laminator Now I have them on a table, they do get hot. The Anna Griffin machine does get hotter, so you wanna have that on um, something that is not going to melt. Like I wouldn't put it on any kind of plastic surface, it will melt. Um, and I have had both machines on a while. The laminator does get warm as well. Um, but the Anna Griffin machine definitely gets hotter. It does have the adjustable heat settings from zero, from five, zero to five, so it does get much hotter and you'll see I think in the next project what the difference is going to be now these are pre-printed toner sheets which again came in the bundle that I got with my mini mink from HSN and we're gonna reveal the one out of the laminator here and you can see that the foil does have let's see if we get the camera to focus here a couple of spots where it did not fully transfer um, but for the most part that looks okay there are a couple of small spots you can see right here where it did not transfer a hundred percent but looking at it in person it's not a big difference I know it's not focusing in but there are a couple spots there did not transfer fully. What I would do then is probably run that through a second time. Now, the Anna Griffin one, let's take a look at that one. And you can see that this foil is completely clear on the negative image, so it all transferred. So you see that the image is much smoother, there are no bubbles, and it did transfer 100%. So the laminator isn't too bad, it's okay, but the Anna Griffin machine is definitely uh, more coverage. And I don't know if I can zoom in here to show them. the glare isn't going to come up but you can see the top one see the bubbling there a little bit on the image and the bottom one is completely smooth so that is the difference with the Anna Griffin machine again if you're just occasionally doing foiling I don't know that I'll make that much of a difference on that method with the pre toner sheets um, the pre printed toner ones now what I did was I printed out a design which you can see here and the first time I printed it, it came out a little light. The second time I printed it, I set the printer settings for darker. Now I do have a laser printer, so I did print these out at home on my laser printer. And I am going to use the same um, Anna Griffin foil that came with it. Deco foil works identical as far as I can tell. I don't see a difference. And let me line these up here. Now I have a feeling that on the Anna Griffin machine, it's not going to make that much of a difference, but I think on the laminator, it's probably not going to stick as well to the lighter printed gingerbread man. So here we have the same gingerbread man, and again, you can see that the uh, first one is not as dark as the second one. I set the 
printer settings higher on this so that it would print darker. And I think this is where we're really going to see the differences in the machines because the more toner you have, the more that the foil is going to stick. And without all of that toner, I don't think it's going to stick all that well on the laser one. All right. And like I said, you can run them through the machine again. I do sometimes turn them over, and I will do that on this project just so we can see the difference. And you want to make sure when you're running them through that your foil is flat. If there are any bubbles or crease marks, your foil will not stick to the toner. All right, so the anagraph one I am going to put through again. This one at time I'm going to turn it over. And the laminator is almost done. I'm also going to turn the laminated sheet over. Now, this is just a demonstration. I do not have them 100% covered. That's okay. I wasn't going to use them. I was just playing around with the machines to see what they would do. The other difference is the machine will, the laminator machine will fit an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. The mini mink is a, I believe it's a six inch piece of paper. You can get the larger mink, which I believe takes a 12 inch paper and that one is through Heidi Swap. But I mostly do card making with my foiling. Um, so I won't be putting anything large in there. So that's why I went with the mini mink. Press the price point. I saw them at AC Moore on sale for, I believe it was $40 um, on clearance. But this one I got at HSN with the bundle package. Um, and it came with a lot of Anna Griffin toner cartridges and extra foils and also extra um, flocking which I will have to do another video on because I have not played with the glitter flocking or anything like that yet. All right, so now is the reveal. And I can tell already that the foil did not adhere as well on the laminator one. So that is the darker foil. This is the lighter foil. You can see on the foil sheet itself how much foil is still left. And just as I suspected, it didn't stick all that well to these images. And again, I just printed these from home, but you can see that there's a lot of misses there. I think it's going to be a little better on the Anna Griffin machine. Let's check. And actually, it is about the same on the one that didn't print so dark, the gray one. Um, yeah, it's almost the same. And let's check the one that I changed the settings on. Now that one, there is a little bit of a difference. Again, it still did not completely adhere the foiling. And actually it's about the same on both. I know this is hard to pick up with the camera, but the foiling is about the same on both machines using the laser printer. So what I will have to do is print out a full fully black image on the laser printer and try it again. But that's what the original designs were, which were these guys here. They were fully black toner printed from Anna Griffin and they came out almost the same, but definitely smoother on the Anna Griffin machine than the laminator. You can see some bubbles in there. So I hope you guys get a little bit of an idea of the difference here. If you have a laminator, try it out. Again, the adjustable settings make a difference. If you're gonna be doing a lot of laminating or anything that has a lot of detail, you might wanna go for the Anna Griffin machine or the Heidi Swap ink machine. If you're just gonna be doing it occasionally and you don't need full coverage, like this would be great if you were doing a grungy or a distressed look, this would be great. But if you want full smooth coverage, I gotta say, I am impressed with the uh, quality that I've been getting out of the Mink Machine. You can see there, it's completely smooth, no bubbles, no bumps, versus the laminator, where you can see a little bit of bubbles and bumps there. I know it kinda looks shiny like it's glitter, but those are actually missed spots. 
So I hope you enjoy the video, guys, and I will do another one using a comparison with glitter and flocking.